Hello everybody, this is Mojo. Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we're doing another Romero and Juliet full quest guide with the Crimson Isle update. Alright, uh, once again in this video, I am going to be zooming around. And we're just going to quickly go through everything, everything you need, uh, and where the locations of they are, or where they are. So, obviously, to start, you can come up here and talk to Juliet. She's going to say something about uh, Romero blending in well with the crowd and stuff cave south of here and then uh, if you just peek around the corner there's that you can get there by coming down going into this tent here going up and in and then he'll be standing in this general area for you uh, you talk to him and then you can go back up and uh, you come out of the tent here you'll see this little mine with gold so you can mine that there's also some on this side if you want to mine that but uh if, once you mine it you get a, sh a yellow rock not a shiny yet just just a yellow rock and then you go back down into the cave give it to him he'll give you the poorly wrapped rock which you can give back to juliet all the way up here after that she'll say something about uh going gro getting groceries in which case you can go back to the skyblock hub and then, so you'll go to down Birch Park and everything, right? Come here. And then, uh, there's this little flower hut right here. We'll be standing in this general area. I'll ask you to get a bouquet for him, so you have to get 15 poppies. Once you get 15, you give them to him, he'll give you the bouquet. You can go back to the jungle island and, uh, give her the bouquet. The next one is the, uh, she'll say something about at the emerald altar. In which case, you could come back. There are portals right there. You'll kind of come down over here to the graveyard. And then you'll see this green pillar, and you can come up, and he'll be standing right here on that block. Obviously, you can't mine this, so you need to go get him a stack of emeralds from the deep caverns, or if you have a stack, whatever, just get him a stack of emeralds. Then he'll give you a fake emeralds altar, and then you can run back. I'm not that fast. Okay. Run back to the portal over there. I went over, I'm sorry, but go back to the portal, give your emeralds, give the fake emeralds altar to Juliet. Then she'll say something about the most evil cursed patch of fungus ever or something. And then this is the part where uh, Hypixel did a little bit of an oopsie, in my opinion, with the Crimson Isle. Uh, the Crimson Isle requires combat 24, so you're probably going to have to stop to get that. Alright, you're going to come up here, right? Come up the stairs, go to the very first left. Ignore all these guys, and then he'll be in down here somewhere. Uh, he'll be about here-ish. And then you need to give him the enchanted red mushroom block. It has to be this exact item right here, which is really annoying to unlock. You need 25,000 mushrooms, but do what you can do. Once you do that, you go and give that back to Juliet. The next item you're going to need is the rabbit six potion with coffee brewed into what you do is you can run over. So first thing you do is obviously get unlock the everything you need in the recipe. So uh, it's in rabbit collection, rabbit potion. You just need to have enough stuff to make this. So enchanted glowstone, which is fun, right? Enchanted everything. You just need, you just need the things, all right? Then you can come over here, talk to the bartender. You can buy uh, either cheap coffee or decent coffee. Cheap coffee is obviously cheaper. It works just the same. Um, you're not gonna change anything if you get either, so just, you want to buy a cheap coffee, and then you're gonna brew yourself the ra that rabbit six potion, uh, using the cheap coffee as the awkward potion. So brew your enchanted rabbit foot into that, and then once that's done, you put the enchanted glowstone block into it, and then once you have that potion, you come up here to the mountain, uh, you can walk up and just walk up all the path to get up to here. Whoa, my man, I just died. You're gonna come up here. He's gonna be standing right here. You give him the potion. Uh, he'll start. He'll go up, and then you get a chunk of the moon, and then you can go down. We spoosh. Uh, go down, and you can give it to Juliet. The next portion of the thing is in the gold mine. So I'm assuming you're gonna know how to get there by now. Uh, you can go to the gold mine. Come over here. Walk down. Go down the gold mine and turn left and fall right down here, and he should be here. He's gonna want an enchanted lava bucket from you. Oh, that's just great timing. Thank you, Hypixel. He's gonna want an enchanted lava bucket from you, and then give that to him. Just so you know, he does consume the enchanted lava bucket, so I'd be careful. He gives you the secret gift for Juliet, and then you go give that to her. The next item you're gonna need is uh, in the wilderness again. Now, this one's a bit weird, because you don't necessarily need an item. 
but there's a very specific item that can help you. So, with the recent update of the Thaumaturgist, this part just got a whole lot easier. So, you could come over here to the Thaumaturgist's house, and you gotta find your power that gives you the most intelligence. Uh, it's probably gonna be inspired, uh, but I have sighted, so I used that light of music, because I did it way before the update came out. Uh, <laughs> and then you can hold... Uh, I have a Heroic Spirit Scepter, if you don't have that. So you can also use Wise Dragon Armor, you just need to have... Um... 1,291 intelligence minimum. Meaning, you need... 1,391 mana. It does not include... That's, that's how much mana you need. If you have more than that, he'll still take it. Uh, so once you get that much mana, uh, don't worry about if you got a full crystal set and the best, most high intelligence power, you're good to go. Uh, you can come over, find the closest tree that has the ladder. Whoa! Until you get to this little staircase here, then go in this house, turn left, he should be right here. Uh, best place to stand is on the torch, shift. And then just start clicking, move your mouse around a little bit. Eventually, you should click him, and then uh, he'll give you the solved Rubik's Cube. All right, the next item we're going to need to get is an Emerald Blade. Uh, so once you've given the solved Rubik's Cube back to Juliet, uh, you're going to need to get yourself an Emerald Blade. They're not that expensive on the auction house, so if you can craft one, good. If you buy them off the AH, also good. You're just going to need an Emerald Blade. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come here to the Coliseum, and uh, this door here. Uh, I did have a problem where the door was sealed off, if that happened. Just wait a little bit, uh, and then eventually it should reopen. I don't know why it was closed, it just was closed for a few days, but they opened right back up. You can come down, give the Emerald Blade to Romero, and he'll give you a Poem of True Love, and you can give that to Juliet. Now the next one, this next one is really expansive. Uh, you wanna, you're gonna wanna go to the Mushroom Desert, and, uh, once you're in the Mushroom Desert, you can go down here. Follow this path, then there's gonna you see this little entrance to the Mushroom Gorge. Uh, you can go in here, down, right back up, turn left, go up the stairs, turn right again, go up these stairs, and then uh, jump over that. And then there's gonna be a little house shut in the corner here. He's got a whopping three blocks, I guess you could say. Uh, and you talk to him. He's gonna say he needs an incredible amount of flowers. As you can see, a ridiculous amount of flowers. Uh, because, so what you need to do is you need to get him a flower minion. Uh, warning, he will take the flower minion, so... Uh, as obviously I don't have a flower minion yet, so I haven't given it to him. Uh, he will give you... Oh, by the way, he will take anything but level 12. Just, just, just so you know, don't give him a level 12 flower minion then. He won't take it. They'll give you a flower maelstrom, and you give that to Juliet, and Juliet and Romero will be standing right next to each other. This next part's nice, uh, you need to, you just need to get a tuxedo. Any tuxedo from Taylor in the hub, that's not where I wanted to go. Any tuxedo, if you come here, go up, down, talk to Seymour here. Uh, this one, obviously, is probably what you're gonna want to get. But if you get that, uh, you just click on the both of them. Uh, it won't take the tuxedo, you just have to wear the full set. And then it will say, thanks for being my best man, blah blah blah. And then it will eventually upgrade your Ring of Love to Legendary. Yeah, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment. If you found it at all helpful, I uh, really, really appreciate it. If there's anything I forgot, put it in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.